Hello everyone! Welcome to our online financial coaching. So please like and subscribe uh, Financial Solutions Today YouTube channel. And let's learn together how to handle and manage our finances. Especially in this time of uh, COVID-19 pandemic where everybody is really hurting, especially in the area of finances. But you know what? Things are not good as they seem and things are not as bad as they seem. Reality is actually somewhere in the middle. So, wag po tayo masyadong nanonood ng mga bad news. Okay? Or you stick your nose in the Facebook and you hear all the bad news. You have to stay in the middle because on the other side, there's still a lot of good news. This, uh, this session, okay, this uh, particular time, we will be focusing on the new normal in our finances. So, what will be our new normal in our finances in the midst of this pandemic? So, the Bible says in Jeremiah 29.11, For I know the plans I have for you. God's plan for us is for good, not for disaster, to give you hope and a future. Your attitude determines your altitude. So, it's really how we respond because crises are part of our life. Problems are part of our life. But it's not about the problem. It's not about the crisis. It's how we respond. If we know God's plan in our life, then... We know that God's plan for our life are good and it is for to give us hope and a good future. So let me just discuss here some of the new normal that we will be experiencing. Especially that this pandemic may last, experts says, two to three more years. First and foremost, focusing on more important things. The dynamics of spending, actually, paggasas natin ng pera ngayon talagang magbabago. In these two months lockdown, uh, people are spending their money now on essentials. There's a lot of cancelled spending happening. Since walang mass gathering, so yung mga birthday celebration, weddings, okay, anniversary, Mother's Day, Father's Day, they decided to do it at home. So malaki ang natitipid. Sarado ang mga malls, so wala na masyadong shopping. So it's between Starbucks versus herbal coffee. So how much money you're spending on Starbucks and how much money you're spending in herbal coffee. It's between McDonald's or just cook chicken at home. A trip to Hong Kong since tourist spots right now are cancelled. It's probably trip to Hong Kong versus saving more money. Buying branded clothes. So since malls are closed, so we are now buying at ukay-ukay or probably yung mga damit natin ngayon na nasa closet. So right now, the new normal is focusing on more important things. Proverbs 21.20, the wise have wealth and luxury, but fool spends whatever they get. So this, this is a great opportunity that we can save a lot of money in the midst of crisis. Now, the second new normal is turning your clutter into cash. Right now, we spend a lot of time in our home, and this is the time that we look around at tingnan natin, ano yung mga hindi na natin nagagamit? So like my daughter, uh, marami na siya mga hindi na ginagamit and he start, he start selling it online via Shopee or via any other platform. So we can turn all this clutter into cash. Clutter means these are just collection of things that is just lying around. Hindi mo na siya nagagamit, so pwede mo siya i-convert into money. How many clothes do you have that you're no longer using? How much is it value? How many shoes do you have? How many books, toys, furnitures, and appliances? So let's turn our clutter into cash. Buying more essential things. It's all about needs versus wants. Needs is you cannot survive without it. But wants is you can survive even without it. Now you see, right now, before this lockdown, we don't really pay attention too much on essentials. Right now, na-realize na natin na pwede palang walang shopping. Pwede palang walang fast food. And we are uh, really saving a lot of money, okay, a lot of cash. And that's why lahat na nasi-save natin, we call it investable fund. And after this, probably that will be the new normal. Right now, we focus more on the essential, the needs versus the wants. We have to understand these needs versus wants. Buying Starbucks, hindi naman tayo against Starbucks, but... Ang tanong is, mabubuhay ka ba na walang Starbucks? Mabubuhay ka ba na walang shopping? Okay? So, this money really becomes our savings, our investable fund. 
Now, the rich get richer and the poor gets poorer because it starts with the mindset. So, these things, uh, we have to make sure we consider this in the new normal. Now, stop spending money on things you don't need and start making your dreams come true today. So, probably, uh, we have to look at this pandemic in a very positive note. We have to put three, three things like, these are the things that I don't need, these are the things that I cannot afford, and these are my dreams. So, we have to identify needs versus once. Now, the third new normal is start saving now and spend less. Spend less that you make and invest the difference wisely. It's all about living below your means. So, I always teach people this 10, 20, 70 rule. Income minus tithes minus savings equals expenses. Like 10% goes to your tithes, 20% goes to your savings, then the 70% goes to your needs versus wants. So ngayon, dahil natututo na tayo mag-focus as essentials, yung 70% na yan, hindi yan may spend lahat into expenses. Okay, madidivide pa natin yan. Is this thing that I'm buying is a need or is it a wants? Another new normal is looking for opportunity to earn. Now, we understand that during this lockdown, you cannot depend on single source of income. About 2 million Filipinos are being displaced. Uh, maraming mawawala ng trabaho after this lockdown. About 400,000 OFW are about to lose their job. So, we realize we cannot depend on a single source of income. Yes, we keep our day job, but we keep on looking for additional source of income. An extra income, something that we can earn, some, a business, anything that we can do. So that's another new normal. We have to probably, this is the best time to start a business. You can never build wealth being an employee, paycheck to paycheck, fighting for survival. Kaya nga sabi nung pag sinabi natin you are in a job, J-O-B, ang tawag dyan is the journey of the broke. Matthew 25, 29 says to those who use well what they are given, even more will be given. But for those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. So right now, so we, are, we, we really need to start changing and adapt to the new normal of our society. If we don't innovate, we will evaporate. I hope that you learn from this uh, online coaching. So I hope that you will continue to, sub to, continue to subscribe and share this uh, uh, online session that we have. And keep on, uh, keep on uh, listening, keep on watching and learn uh, how are we going to face uh, this crisis that we are experiencing. How are we going to cope up with this pandemic? Okay? So this is, uh, this is your online financial coaching. And see you again the next time around. God bless you all.